Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create this design using Bootstrap and then later I'll show you how to add this design to your Blogger website. So let's get started. Now Bootstrap is one of the most popular CSS frameworks and it basically has a lot of CSS classes already created which you can use to quickly design responsive websites. So the first thing we will do is we will get the CDN link. So just go to this website called getbootstrap.com and if you scroll down we can see that there is a link for the CDN. So let's copy this link from here. So I'll just click on copy and I have created this folder called bootstrap and I have this images folder where we have these two images which we're going to use in our project. So let's start by creating an index.html file and uh, in VS Code you have this shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab and you will have this basic HTML5 code and uh, I'll just paste the link of the CDN over here. Right now let's start with the design. We will start with the mobile version. Right so here on the right I have opened up the project in uh, the browser. So let's start by creating a container division. So let's create a division and uh, we will give it a class of container. Now here in the container we need to have a row. So let's create a division with a class of row and in that we need to have columns. So we need to have one column for the first card and another column for the second card. So let's create a division with a class of call. And here I'll just type hi. And here we can see we have the first column. Now here in the column we'll create a division for the card. So let's create a division with a class of card. Now this will be the container division for the card. So if you go back to our design, we can see that we have this main division where we have this background image. And in that we need to have this content over here. So let's go back and uh, in the card division, let's create a division and in the division we will have an H2 for the heading. So let's create an H2 and in the H2 let's copy this uh, heading. So I'll just copy this from here and I'll just paste it over here inside the H2. And now here we can see we have the H2. Now the next thing we need to have are these two elements over here. We have this button over here on the left and we have this text over here on the right. Now for these two elements we will create an unordered list. So let's go over here and uh, let's go below the heading and uh, let's create an unordered list. And in that we will have a list item and in the list item the first thing we need to have is a button. So let's create a button and for the button we will have a class called button. Now in the button we need to have an icon. So here we can see we have this download icon and you can get icons from bootstrap itself. So let's go back to the bootstrap website and if you go to the top and if you go over here to icons. Here we can see that bootstrap offers a lot of icons and if you scroll down we can see a list of all the icons. And let's get the download icon from here. So this is the download icon. I'll just click on this icon. And here on the right we can see the SVG code for the icon. So I'll just copy this from here. And uh, let's go back and uh, here inside the button I'll just paste the code. And I'll just change the width of the icon to 20 and also the height to 20. And here we need to have a class of BTN not button. So I'll just type BTN. And uh, we also have a class in Bootstrap called BTN Primary. So I'll just type BTN primary and now we can see we have this button over here and now on the right we need to have a text so let's create one more li so after this I'll just create an li and here I'll just create a small tag and in that I'll just type pi game and here we can see we have this text over here now we want to have both these elements one next to the other so for that we have to set the display of the parent element to flex so let's go to the ul which is the parent element and let's add some classes so I'll just type class to add a display of flex we can just type d dash flex and now we can see they are one next to the other and we'll also remove the bullets from the list items. So for that you have to type list unstyled and now we can see that the bullets are removed. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to move this text all the way to the right. So for that we will add a margin right of auto for this list item. So let's go over here to the first list item and let's add a class and here we need to type me auto and it will set the margin right to auto and now we can see that we have the element on the extreme right. All right now let's add some classes to this division right here. So let's type class equals and we will set a padding of 5 and we will have less padding for the bottom so I'll just type pb and we'll set it to 3 and now let's add some styles to the card. So here for the card I'll just set a background color of dark and now for the text we need to have a white color so let's go back over here to this division right here and I'll just type text white. 
and we need to add a background image as well but we have added this background dark just as a backup color and we'll also add a shadow so i'll just type shadow and i will set it to large and now let's add the background image so for that i'll just create a style tag and uh, here i'll just type background image and i'll just set it to url and uh, here i'll just type the url of the image so the images are inside images folder and in that we have one and two images so i'll just select the first image from here and then i will also set the background size to cover all right now let's add some classes to the h2 so i'll just type class and here we'll just type padding top and we'll just set it to five and we'll also set a margin bottom of uh, let's say five and now we'll set the font weight to bold and i think that's pretty much it with our card now here for the container i'll just add a padding bottom and padding top so i'll just type py and i'll just set it to five all right now let's copy this column and i'll just paste it one more time so i'll just fold this and i'll just copy this column and i'll just paste it over here and now here we can see there are two cards one next to the other first of all i'll just change these details over here so i'll just delete this from here and uh, let's go to the design and i'll just copy this and i'll just paste it over here and here we have unreal engine so i'll just copy this and uh, i'll just paste it down here all right now let's scroll to the top and here we can see we have created this row and we need to have just one item in a row so for that you have to type row calls one and now we can see that there is one item in a row and we'll also add some gap between these rows so i'll just type g and i'll just set it to five and we'll also change the background image of the second card so here i'll just type two dot jpg right now what we'll do is when we have a larger screen we will display two columns in a row so for that you have to type row calls lg for large and two and now when we have a larger screen there will be two items displayed in a row so let's maximize this and now here we can see that there are two items in a row now we'll also set the height of both of these cards to 100 percent so that both of them will have the same height so let's go back let's go inside the column and here for this division let's add an edge of 100 and I'll do the same over here in the second card as well. So for this division, I'll just type H100. All right, now the last thing we need to do in this design is to bring these two elements to the bottom of the card. So let's go back to our source code. And first of all, I'll just set the display of this division to flex and I'll just type D flex. And now we have to set these elements one below the other. So for that, you have to type flex column and uh, we'll also set the height to 100 percent of the parent and now let's set the margin top of these two elements to auto so let's go back and uh, let's go to the ul so this is the ul so i'll just have margin top of auto and now we can see that both the elements are at the bottom of the card i'll just add the same styles to the other card as well so i'll just go over here and uh, for this division i'll just type display of flex and flex column and height of 100 percent and for the ul i'll just type margin top of auto all right now let's add this design to our blogger website now here i have logged into my blogger dashboard so let's go over here and uh, go to theme and uh, let's click on this arrow and click on edit html and first of all here we need to add the cdn of bootstrap so let's go back to our uh, html and let's scroll up and here we can see this is the link of the bootstrap cdn so i'll just copy this from here and let's go back over here and in the head section this is the head section so here i'll just paste the code and now let's click on save all right now let's go back and let's create a new post and i'll just name the title bootstrap now here we need to copy and paste the HTML. So first of all, you need to go to the HTML view. So just click on this button and go to the HTML view. And let's go back to our HTML and I'll just copy everything inside the body. And uh, I'll just copy this from here and paste it inside our post. Now here we need to update the links of the images. So here we can see we have added a link of images slash the image name. But in our blogger website, we don't have this folder called images. So we have to upload the image first of all into our post. So I'll just make some space over here. And I'll just click on this button called insert image and click on upload from computer. And let's click on choose files. And these are the two images. So I'll just select both of these and click on open. 
and let's select both these images and click on select and let's click on original size and OK. Now here we have the links of the images. So I'll just copy this first link from here and let's scroll down and add the link over here. And now let's copy the second link. So I'll just copy this from here and let's scroll down and add the link over here in the second image. And now we can delete both these images from here and let's click on publish and confirm. All right now let's view this post and here we can see we have the design just as expected and let's also open the mobile version. So this is how the mobile version looks and everything looks all right. So that's basically how you create this design using bootstrap and add it to your blogger website. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.